During the lectureship week, I had stepped into Old Chapel Hall and the chairman of the board, John Law, stopped and said, hey, can we visit some in the morning? And I said, no, I'm leaving tonight. And he said, well, let's just have a phone call sometime. I said, great. And so a few days later, he called and just wanted to bounce some things off of me about uh, the presidential search. From there, uh, you know, hung up the phone with not really knowing what to think. Over the next few weeks came an invitation to come to a interview uh, because I still didn't know if I would have what Free Hardeman needed. But I, you know, I just said, I don't, I don't want to waste your time. You know, you guys have a lot of people you need to interview and there's no reason to give a two hour block of time to me. And so finally his um, offer was, you're not going to waste our time and we're just asking you, will you please come? And so I did, that was mid-March and um, we had a good visit together and you know a lot was about what I believed would be Free Hardeman's future and vision and uh, of course it gave me an opportunity to talk about how I love Free Hardeman and what I believe Free Hardeman uh, could even be in the future and, and I'll say that toward anything negative toward the present but any organization ought to be able to build on the shoulders of wherever it's been. You think over the last 50 years where Free Hardman's been, when, and really you could go back even, obviously, any time before that too, but, but I just think about with President Gardner and Sewell and Wiley, and to think what's been done here over the last 50 years is amazing. And we're not starting over, we're just building on that. And so I just enjoyed talking with them about that. And um, really left that day with, hey, that was good, enjoyed that. That was, <laughs> that was good. And then- uh, I really thought it was over. <laughs> and <laughs> phone call came the next week to say, hey, we'd like for you to come and be one of three. At that point, um, the, the process became real. Before, everything I felt was real and everything that I loved was real. Uh, but then the process became real. And, um, and then so on the April 20th, we came up Thursday evening and spent some time in, in an interview. And then on Friday, the 21st, um, more time in interviews. opportunity to be appointed was offered. It's a lot of prayer though that we didn't just say, oh this is something that is right up our alley or anything like that. We had a lot of people praying and us praying a lot. So it felt like when it did happen it had to be something that we wouldn't we we love Mount Juliet and so such good people and so we didn't believe them and we didn't think it was what God wanted and that we could really make a difference here. And, uh, you know, we sometimes say things like, hey, we're blessed with things we don't deserve. And this is one of those opportunities in life. There's, you know, there's no way that we deserve this opportunity, but we're thankful for it. And we'll do our best to do it for God's glory.